Now, the MP for Ketu South, Jifa Gumashi, has encouraged all stakeholders to come together to advocate the abolishment of taxes on sanitary parts as it is one of the lead causes of teenage pregnancies among girls. The occasion was part of a two-day adolescent learning forum held annually by the United Nations Population Fund. During the forum, some of the issues discussed included menstrual hygiene, sexual, gender-based violence, and child marriage. The plenaries saw MPs with groups of teenagers coming up with ideas as to how to reduce practices which harm adolescents. Speaking on behalf of the Speaker of Parliament, Jifa Gumashi advocated for the scrapping of luxury tax off parts. Because of a sanitary towel, a girl learns to negotiate with sex. Why should our country in 2022 still have children not having access to sanitary towels. It's only because it's expensive, because we have put, we've called it luxury taxes. And I'm sure you are getting tired of hearing me talk about remove the, the luxury tax from the sanitary towels. I won't stop till it's done. And it does not matter who is president. I will continue asking for that because as a woman, I've menstruated before. So you can imagine when a girl does not have the sanitary towel. It reduces her dignity it makes her miss school, it makes her sick, and somebody has to look out for her. Who better to do that than us females in this parliament uh, of the Republic of Ghana? Country rep for UNFPA, Barnabas Yisa, was hopeful such engagement can reduce the harmful practices amongst adolescents. The parliament is also put in place. Laws, if you really follow the laws of Ghana, there are laws that said a child should not get married. But what is happening? Because of other factors. A child is still getting married in, in, in Ghana. And beyond that, you find adolescents getting pregnant, even when they don't want it. And like somebody said, if you see any child on the street, there is probability that when they conceive that child, it was not wanted. In the interactions with the 37 members of parliament present, it came up that the inability to purchase these sanitary parts is one of the challenges increasing the menace of teenage pregnancies in our communities, which in effect is destroying the future of young ladies.